Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to many polls. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and sub subscribe. She's really nervous about Donald J. Trump winning. You better watch out, ladies and gentlemen, because we're coming at you live with updated election map your favorite kind of videos on our youtube channel check out our other videos too we do reviews food reviews we do vlogs challenges all kinds of stuff but washington state with 12 electoral votes is blue for kamala harris oregon with eight electoral votes is blue for kamala harris california with 54 electoral votes is blue for kamala harris alaska with three electoral votes is red for donald j trump Montana with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah with Mitt Romney and six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada with six electoral votes is a light, light pink. So two clicks on Nevada for Donald J. Trump, but it can sway either way. It's a battleground. Different polls. Some polls have it deep red for Donald J. Trump. Some polls have it light red. Some have it light pink. Some have it brown. Some have it grayed out. It all depends what poll website you are reading from. We have videos for all of them on our channel. Please look at them. Arizona, the same kind of thing, but it's a light red. So one click, 11 electoral votes. It's leaning heavily toward Trump once more. Again, the results of this map will be different than the results of other maps that we upload throughout the week because every poll, every website has different stats and different ways that they grade and poll people in these states. Some do it online, some do it on foot, in person, in the state themselves. Some do it over email and websites as well. We're going down to Hawaii with four electoral votes. Blue for Kamala Harris. Colorado with ten electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico is a light blue. One click on this. Five electoral votes for Kamala Harris. I don't see it moving too much, to be honest, because they tend to be a heavy, heavy Democrat-run state. North Dakota, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska, the state itself, is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district is red for Donald J. Trump, while the tiny little gray-gray district is blue for Kamala Harris. Meow, meow. Going back to the red... Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is a light red one click for Donald J. Trump. Some websites have it dark red, some have it lighter red, pink, whatever it looks like to you. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is a light blue. Tampon Timmy's tampon is getting wet. And, um... Wisconsin on this map is gray. It is grayed out. It is a toss-up. It's anyone's game here. Michigan, with 15 electoral votes, is a light blue one click instead of dark blue, which other polls have it as dark, dark blue. Iowa, with six electoral votes, is shockingly a light pink, a light red one click on this um, poll. And... Missouri, with 10 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with 8 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois, with 19 electoral votes, is blue, dark blue, for Kamala Harris. The red wave has begun. Let's click it. Indiana, 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio, with 17 electoral votes, is a light pink one-click for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky, with 8 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. West Virginia, with 4 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I, is 6 electoral votes, red for Donald J. Trump. All the little kids always said that when I was in kindergarten. Alabama, sweet home Alabama, the cousin lover state, with 9 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida is a light pink, one click, 30 electoral votes for Donald J. Trump. Used to be a battleground, used to be a toss up, might still be, but he won it shockingly in 2020. Georgia, with 16 electoral votes, is light pink for Donald J. Trump. Some websites have it dark red, some have it light pink, some have it brown, some have it light blue. It's anyone's guess as to what is accurate. South Carolina with 9 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina with 16 electoral votes is a light, light red 
One, two, three, there. It's anyone's guess. It's such a close toss-up for North Carolina in this election. Donald J. Trump needs North Carolina. Kamala Harris does not if she wins Pennsylvania. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is a light blue for Kamala Harris. Right there. Yeah, that's kind of odd. And Pennsylvania is a brown, 19 red. 19 electoral votes is a 1, 2, 3. There is a light red slash brown for Donald J. Trump. He needs this in his pathway to victory. He needs Pennsylvania to win. Maine, on the top right, is two clicks. A light red-pink kind of color. And the rest of them are blue. New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Delaware, MD, and the District of Washington, D.C. Or Washington, D.C. Depending on what part of the trailer park you fall in. What do you guys think? Because currently it has Democrats, Kamala Harris at 239, and Republicans, Donald J. Trump at 285. Do you guys like these results? If you don't like them, let us know. If you like them, let us know. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out. Burned out.